Okay, what I have here is a Pioneer uh, CTF 600 cassette deck. It's a very expensive one. It was like three or four hundred dollars, and uh, it has no uh, line fuse in it for overcurrent protection. So I'll cut this little cap off right here. I'll bring the cord back some more. I'll put it on this set of this hole right here. Yep, will fit right on there nicely. So we can go ahead and strip our wires here. Okay, so uh, we'll twist our strands together here on the cord. We'll dip it into the flux. And we'll take solder from our iron and we'll just tin that. We're going to use a 4060 rosin core solder from Radio Shack. So I'll take and clean my tip. I'll take my fuse block here. I'll take the wire, I'll put it in some flux there. I'll put some flux on the top of this lug here, and then again on the bottom of it. Okay, so I'll get the insulation so that it comes up close. Squeeze down and squeeze up, so it looks like that. So uh, this is called drop soldering. Let that cool a minute. And now see how I have a little extra coming up here of copper? Before that totally cools, I'll just pull that down just a bit. See how that goes down a little bit? Okay, so now we're ready to solder this side.
So I'll use some the soldering wire to apply some flux on the bottom and the top there. I'll put some solder on my iron there. I'll bring it up and around very carefully so I don't drop the solder into the unit. Okay, so there's my solder joint on both ends on the top. We'll flip it over. Nice flow through on the uh, back side there. So now we can mount this on that hole right there. So I'm going to turn this this way. I'm going to bend my uh, terminals up some. Put my screw down through the ladder. I'll put my nut and washer on the bottom here. driver and snug it. Come back over here, make sure it's nice and straight. I wonder to hold the, put the screwdriver on top so it can stay straight. Okay, so now I can take this here and wrap this back around the uh, power cord. I'll bring this up here. Put a zip tie on this here to hold it all together. I'll show you why I put this fuse in. This is a typical house fuse. See the filament inside there? And uh, see the size of the filament we're putting in this unit? It's much smaller than your standard house fuse, so we'll put it right in here on this block. I'll let you take a close look at that and see so you can see what my soldering work looks like. 
and the reason I put that in is up here you'll see uh, a bridge rectifier, a capacitor, a voltage regulator, another bridge rectifier. If any of these components go bad in a shorting condition it can overheat the transformer and then the transformer can get hot and start shorting out inside and then potentially it can start uh, overheating the line cord and uh, it can short out and cause a fire in your house. Here is the uh, front of the unit. There's the uh, specs. And there it is, uh, UL listed. Uh, and it was uh, certified without any uh, overcurrent protection in it. But before you do this, consult an authorized service center. Because if it's done wrong, you could start a fire or create a shock hazard. Thanks for watching.